Today I'd like to show you how to make a really nifty garden bench. I call it Mike's bench because Mike Miller was a longtime friend of my father's and one of the better landscapers I've ever met. And he came up with this method of building a bench using two feather rocks and some redwood lumber. Now you notice I dug a small hole to set this rock in. I want it seated fairly firmly on the soil. It's very lightweight, but I don't want it to wiggle around when we built a bench on it. This is feather rock. It's nothing more than volcanic glass. So if you're going to try this, wear heavy gloves because this will cut your skin pretty neatly. Our first step in building this is to use a sawzall and cut the top off the stone so we have a flat surface. You notice we've got two stones. That's going to form the base of our bench. Now I'm using a sawzall to do this. The first time I did it, I used a good carpenter's saw. I threw it away when I was done. A blade like this is perfectly replaceable. I can throw it away, buy a new one for about $4. Now I'd like to cut the top of this, this stone smooth and level. But if I don't get it level, it's okay. I can move the rock a little, whichever way I need to. Wear safety glasses when you do this. Once we've smoothed off the top of the stone, we take a two by two, which is going to be the bottom of our bench, and we mark where it's going to be located with a carpenter's pencil. Our goal here is to carve out this track so that this piece of wood will actually be recessed into the stone. Our bench will be supported not only on this, but on the stone itself. We're going to cut it first with a sawzall to get the depth, and then we'll finish it up with a hammer and chisel. Once we've got the channel carved out and swept out, take a two by two that will become the bottom of the bench. Make sure it fits snugly. It does. The next thing we do is assemble the bench itself. I'm going to hold the bench together with the same two by twos that I used to carve the channels in the rock. You've noticed that I've spaced the feather rocks approximately the same distance apart that I have the two by twos on the bench. It's important that the two by twos be close enough to the end of the bench that should anyone sit on the end, it doesn't spring up like a seesaw or a lever or something. The next thing I wanna do is countersink the heads of the screws, simply because I don't like to see them. After you've drilled your pilot hole for the screws, put a countersink bit in and just go a little way into the wood so that when you put in your screw, it's recessed inside the two by two. Invisible screws, We're ready to put the bench on. Now you may notice that the ends of this bench are not even all the way across. And you've probably wondered why I had this dinner plate out here. Well, I'm gonna round off the corners of these benches for two reasons. One is to get rid of that unevenness of the lumber. And the second is rounded edges look better. And I'm gonna use my Sawzall to do this. The dinner plate merely helps me mark nice neat curves. A simple, rustic garden bench. Three pieces of two by six by eight foot redwood. You'll never have to treat it. It'll weather very nicely in your garden. Two feather rocks and a couple of hours of your time. And you've got a bench that'll last a long time. You've got Mike's bench, straight from my garden to yours.